Right, you'll all have to bear with me because I'm not used to making speeches as uh, as Christopher Upton is. <clears throat> um, he's back on YouTube um, calling me his pet bunny boiler as he does, um, which is an insult, um, but uh, that's most probably the politest word that comes out of his mouth uh, concerning me and anybody who disagreed with him um, concerning his so-called training methods of the dog storm. Um, we all saw him pick the dog's ears, uh, pick the dog up by its ears, um, shake it, put it on the floor, hit it across the back, and then state, "I obviously didn't hit it hard enough when the dog crawled towards him to appease the person who had just hit it." He therefore picked the dog up, shook it, put it on the floor, and hit it twice harder across the back. So, because of this, um, people saw the video. Um, it was on a public uh, Facebook page. Um, he says it wasn't. It was. Um, and anybody who saw it at the time knows that it was on a public Facebook page. It was shared by other people, not myself. Um, it was once other people had shared it, and most probably hundreds of people had shared it, that I saw it. I was not the one who created the petition either. Um, well done to the person who did, um, but it was not me. Um, I shared the petition on my wall. At no time have I shared the petition on any group walls. At no time have I phoned Christopher Upton or any of his family members or been abusive in any way to him. At no time at all. And the police will verify this for you if you wish. Um, no time at all. Um, Christopher Upton, um, he self admitted that he chose me out of the 220,000 people who signed the petition, not the 10,000 as he claimed on the YouTube clip, 220,000 people disagreed with the way you treated that dog. Um, 220,000 people disagreed that you should not, uh, that uh, no one um, should train uh, dogs that way, um, especially a professional so called gun dog trainer. Um, so, anyway, uh, it was down to whomever uh, uh, to decide if they wanted to sign that petition. Um, the video clip that was um, uh, uh, put onto uh, uh, that uh, petition was not edited. Um, anybody who watches that can see that it was not edited. Um, it's just daft to even say that it was edited. It's um, it's just so clearly not edited. So, you know, we can't make up what isn't there on a video. You see Christopher Upton pick the dog up by its ears. You see Christopher Upton shake the dog. You see Christopher Upton put the dog down on the floor. You see Christopher Upton hit it across the back. You see the dog crawl to the Christopher Upton to appease him. You see Christopher Upton say, uh, uh, sorry, you, you hear Christopher Upton state that he's going to repeat it. Uh, uh, his exact words were, I obviously didn't hit it hard enough. So you see all of this, it is not something that can be uh, falsified. It is fact. That is exactly what he did. Um, so, you know, that was not uh, me. That was Christopher Upton. I was not one of the first people who saw the video on public Facebook page of his. Uh, uh, many others saw it before me and many others shared it. Um, I shared the petition um, uh, as 220,000 people did. So he picked me because I live next to a, a professional gun dog trainer. And in his own words, apparently I had too good a web, web page for someone like me. Um, so that web page was, uh, that web was, uh, 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 website was way before Christopher Upton. So um, I'm not doing anything to ride on the back of Christopher Upton. That web page was there just for me and whoever wanted to look at it. I'm not a professional gun dog trainer. I never claim to be. Though I have far better uh, 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 trained dogs than Christopher Upton uh, has from going through his videos. Um, and far more common sense with dogs. But then again, I should think an awful lot of us do have far more common sense with dogs. Um, it's sad uh, to see uh, uh, people make assumption about what the dogs supposedly are saying to him, to him and to other people and doing. And you can quite clearly see that they've assessed the situation wrong and they've totally read the dog wrong. So, I mean, 
didn't share it first, didn't create a petition, um, certainly didn't uh, 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 um, use it as a way to uh, get people to um, look at my videos. My videos were doing very well uh, uh, and, and I don't put videos out there to have a certain amount of numbers hit it. Um, I was quite happy on Facebook. Um, I you know, enjoy Facebook. I'm not coming off of Facebook. Um, even though I was horrendously bullied on Facebook by Christopher Upton and Christopher Upton's friends. Um, I got phone calls from Christopher Upton pretending to be other people. Um, he gained my address, my telephone numbers. He phoned my landlords up and um, tried to, uh, uh, you know, blacken my name with them. None of all of this worked, of course, because people who know me uh, 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 would not, you know, even listen to... Um, people who, you know, that type of person, um, so they, so that didn't work. Um, but of course it, you know, it's not very nice to know that somebody's going out of their way to find your phone number, to find your address, to ring everybody up on your Facebook page he can get hold of. And he literally, you know, I had so many uh, uh, private messages saying that, you know, they'd had a phone call uh, uh, from him or, or from his friends or that they'd had private messages from him. Um, so he also um, got his wife uh, to call me, um, pretending that she was um, from the medical uh, side of things. And um, I was the person who uh, told them that I was epileptic. I am epileptic. I have been epileptic all my life. Um, it is something that I have kept private. It is something that um, I wanted to keep private. Uh, it is something that unfortunately Christopher Upton shared with everybody five minutes after his wife put the phone down to me and I realised that that was um, what had happened. He put on Facebook um, that um, I was epileptic and I should be grateful that uh, it wasn't 300 years ago um, because as anybody who knows their history would know um, and has, as Christopher obviously knew, um, they burnt uh, uh, epileptics um, 300 years ago. Well, actually, it's longer than that, but um, because, you know, they believed that um, epileptics were um, possessed, were witches uh, uh, themselves. And uh, so therefore, people like me would have been burnt uh, uh, many years ago. Thankfully, um, society has changed. Um, unfortunately for Christopher, uh, uh, society has changed uh, because of course that is not uh, the main view of people. He also stated on YouTube, public YouTube, um, his exact words were, I hope she has a fit and dies. Um, he said uh, that this may come across as a bit harsh. Um, yes, Christopher, that, uh, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, to other people as well. Um, that is harsh. That's very harsh. Uh, majority of people wouldn't dream of saying something like that no matter what the person had done and let's clarify what I have done all I have done is I along with 220,000 others signed a petition I shared it on my wall just my wall um, I didn't go on to any groups no groups I've never even sworn at Christopher Upton once I think the strongest word I use for Christopher Upton is, what a silly man. And that's it. You know, so that's my crime. So, so John Pitchell kicked me off of the uh, uh, gun dog site, um, blocked me. And he stated it was because I'd upset his friend Christopher Upton, which is ironic because he kept going onto the group page and saying uh, uh, that it wasn't because of that. And he didn't know Christopher Upton. Um, anybody, by the way, who wants to go and check it out, you can see that they're great friends on, on Facebook um, and have been for a very long time. So, I mean, it's, you know, to excuse the clock. <laughs> um, he even put out a call, as most of you will know, on Facebook. This is Christopher Upton, put out a call on Facebook to uh, uh, asking what should be done about me.
you know, to, to let him know what he should do. Uh, and he also said that uh, the police were coming to arrest me. And one lady asked, why were they going to arrest her? And he said that um, I was a terrorist, would you believe? Um, the lady, I don't know who she was, but uh, lovely lady, she said, you're kidding me. Don't you mean they're coming to arrest you for beating that dog? Um, <laughs> I did have to chuckle at that. You'll have to forgive me on that one, but I did have to chuckle. Um, so, so yeah, uh, um, all I've done is, is shared a, a petition that I agreed with saying that, uh, you know, that that video should have been reported to the RSPCA um, because it was abuse. And I agree with that. I agreed with that petition. I signed that petition and I shared that petition on my wall. And since then, I have had harassment. I have had abuse. I have had vulgar things said to me. Uh, and, um, you know, the majority of people have either seen it on his Facebook page or have actually heard him state it on YouTube, the things that he has said about me. I mean, let's face it. I mean, I can't remember the exact words, but uh, when you when you hear uh, uh, somebody say, uh, uh, right, um, that dogs like pain, uh, somebody, please forgive me, this isn't an exact wording. Um, uh, bitches like pain, like women like pain uh, uh, during sex. Uh, you know, we like rape. Um, that's scary to know that that type of person is uh, aiming or his anger at one. It's, it's, it is frightening to think that that type of man um, who could write something like that is, is blaming one for, for the, the, the video, the damage that the video did. I didn't create the video. Christopher Upton created the video. I didn't share the video. Others shared the video who saw it and it was on a public Facebook page, so they had every right to do so. That video was not hacked to pieces in any way. It was as, well, anybody who watches it can see that it isn't edited. So that's not, that's not the case. Uh, so it's, it's, it's just all lies, lies and more lies. But, uh, you know, on their part, it's it's quite upsetting. Well, not upsetting, it's, it's, it's gone past that now. I mean, he's done so much damage. The only thing that uh, anybody could use against me is my epilepsy, and he's, he's gone and used that. So that's, that's out there now. Um, you know, in a way, I should be proud. Uh, I've managed throughout life to, to live a normal life as, as best as one can hide it from as many as, as, as people as I can because I knew that there were people out there like like Christopher Upton who would use it against me and there were other people out there who, who loved me and, 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 and cared for me and if they knew that I was epileptic would watch me like a hawk and uh, not enjoy uh, their time with me. So that is why um, I, I have always hid it, not a bad reason, um, quite a common sense reason. People tell me I shouldn't be ashamed of the fact that I'm epileptic, but um, there you go. We, we, we're all humans, uh, um, and uh, you know, I, I, I didn't want people to know that I was epileptic. Um, but he's put it out there. That's you know, as I said, that's um, that's that's okay now. I've got I've got used to that. Uh, I, I I'm okay about that. Um, but um, what I'm not okay with is lies. I will not take the blame for that video. That video was created and it was done by Christopher Upton. Um, I will not take blame for what he did to that dog. That was Christopher Upton. Um, I will not take blame for sharing that video. That was not me. That was other wonderful people. Um, I will not take blame for sharing, uh, creating that petition. Uh, that petition was created by a lovely person uh, who also cares greatly about animals um, and I didn't know them until after the petition was created um, and uh, you know I'll take uh, 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 credit blame whatever you want to however you want to put it for sharing that petition on my wall um, I'll do that 
I'll, I'll take claim to not cowering in a corner um, when you have a man ringing you up at five o'clock in the morning calling you a bitch, spastic and everything else um, because you asked over a month before the phone call for his friends and himself to leave you alone on Facebook. Um, yes, that's how long that post was in between. It was a month. Uh, I put a post up saying, please leave me alone. And uh, a month later, at five o'clock in the morning, he rings me up calling me a spastic and everything, um, stating that um, he'd only just uh, uh, seen it. When the police arrested him, he stated that he'd only just seen it and uh but they knew that he hadn't because he put a youtube clip up the day before stating that he'd seen it so they knew that he had seen it the day before um but anyway basically you know i just wanted to say that that uh you know those are the facts that i've given you um and that's it you know let's let's have a little bit of respect for for animals they can't talk for themselves. Um, we shouldn't be beating them. Uh, people take the, the the Mickey order, however you want to put it, um, out of uh, um, people who train tricks to dogs and uh, dancing routines to dogs. Well, they do that without beating them. You know, all we're doing in the gun dog world is harnessing a talent that the dog has in the first place, a natural drive and desire uh, uh, to do uh, its instinct to the dog. All we're doing is redirecting it to our benefit. Um, we're just giving the dog to work for us. That's all. They're teaching dogs to do things that aren't normal to them. And they can do it without hitting the dog, without picking the dog up by the ears, without kicking the dog, without shaking it around, without water jet, uh, uh, power jet. Um, they can do that without any of those techniques. Shouldn't we feel a little bit ashamed in the gun dog world if there's professional trainers out there, uh, professional trialers out there um, that feel that they have to beat a dog to get it to work for? Doesn't that suggest that maybe that they are lacking in talent and that they shouldn't be in that profession? If you can't train a dog uh, um, better than Joe Bloggs, um, what are you doing in, in the profession? Usually when you pay for something, you're paying for a, a higher standard. I've certainly not seen that, and anybody watching the videos will see they've not seen that. Um, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous not to want to have uh, uh, someone train your dog who is better than Joe Bloggs down the street. And in fact, Joe Bloggs down the street is most probably even better. That's the worrying thing. I mean, I am Joe Bloggs, and my dogs, uh, uh, you know, I have to say it, they're better. Apparently, I've got no videos of my own, and I'm just sharing his. Well, I hate to tell you this, but I don't. I'm sorry, you've got hundreds and hundreds of, uh, of YouTube clips of a couple of minutes long. The majority of them are, 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 are you rambling. Um, and uh, every time uh, I, I, you know, uh, see that your numbers have gone down, um, no, I may be wrong here, but uh, um, when I see the numbers have gone down, um, I'm pretty certain, and you always do it, um, you're going to insult somebody, not necessarily me, it could be Basque, um, or it could be other people, um, you know, the trialing world usually. Um, and it seems that you only put up uh, uh, these types of videos when your YouTube clip numbers have gone down, when you've only got sort of like um, 16 up to them. Um, by the way, I've got one with 640 or more uh, uh, watches, and that's of my Mia um, doing uh, two retrieves, uh, but two wonderful, extremely long retrieves. 